The topic was brought up when answering a question raised by Central Province Governor Kila Hauda. Under the new school structure, 266, that is two years of elementary, six years of primary, six years of secondary, including grade 11 and 12. Mr. Speaker, my question is, what is the status of our national high schools in the country? Thank you. Minister Kuman responded saying the status of nationalized schools will be re-looked at once the 266 reform is fully implemented in 2016. Before this policy is implemented, all national high schools remain as school of excellence. The national high school was established to cater for the grade 11 and grade 12 in the old system of education. Now that uh, that old system are now decentralized, we have high schools right throughout the provinces, including the secondary school. And the idea of the, um, the, the national high school to continue to remain in the current form will be relooked again. A supplementary question raised by member for Anglim Southwagi Common Joe Koim questioned if the government had any plans to introduce a new curriculum to accompany the reform. We are uh, trying to get all our students into the classrooms and get them out. Uh, can we, do we also have uh, plans to relook at the curriculum? Because right now, most of our students, when they uh, start from primary up to secondary and all the way through, we're giving them that hope that they will finish at university level or some sort of colleges. But when they pass out of grade 10 or 12, it's like they're, delusio they're de illusioned and uh, they think that they're failures and then uh, they fall back into the mainstream. Minister Kuman responded asking members of parliament to partner with the department to deliver quality education. He said the new policy is to address the increasing number of dropouts each year. The education system is basically to prepare students to get into a tertiary institution. And in order to get into a tertiary institution, we are, the education department is tasked and the primary responsibility is to ensure that every child that comes to the school system are prepared to get into the tertiary institution. That is how the curriculums are developed. Michelle Amba, National MTV News.